Hello again and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a first impression slash unboxing of the new Kaveco Collection Smooth Jade. I get super excited whenever the Kaveco Collection series gets a new color added to it and I'm still hoping that they eventually come out with a mustard yellow. Here's hoping. But of course I just had to add this beautiful sage to my collection. I am a huge fan of green and all of its hues and shades and I'm just excited to see it compared to all of my other pens. Right now on the screen you should see mint, metallic turquoise, classic green, and the midnight all sport. It is actually much more bluer in color. I thought it would be more green. And here it is compared to the olive. I am such a huge fan of the olive. It is one of my favorites. I was really curious to see how the color compared to the sage I already own, which is the milligram collaboration. And I know this one was not a pen that everybody could get a hold of. It was a collaboration between Coveco and Milligram, which is a stationery store in Australia. I think I saw it at the right time on someone's post on Instagram and was able to get one. As you can see, the Milligram Sage is much more greener, whereas the Soothing Sage kind of leans more towards a bluer shade. Actually, it's giving me like seafoam green kind of vibes, but I don't know if that's an accurate representation of it. I'm so glad that they released this color in the series. I know it's not the same as the Milligram Sage, but it still gives people a chance to add a sage to their collection while at the same time offering a different color. And as always, I like to match my inks with my pens, but I was kind of I didn't have anything that I really thought matched the pen perfectly. Sierra Mist is what I have. That is the only ink I ever put into my Milligram Sage. And again, I needed something more blue for this one, but I just wasn't, I don't know. I needed it to be the perfect green blue color and I just, I felt like I didn't have that in my collection currently. I am excited because I did purchase the Inkvent calendar, so I will have some new inks to test out and maybe there'll be something that I can use for this. I did think that Sailor 162 would work, but it actually shows a little bit more blue purpley whenever it's in a pen, so I decided against that. And then I went with Mad Hatter and here is just a comparison between the 1.1 nib that I have on my Quebeco Sage with Sierra Mist. I enjoy this ink so much. I am actually almost out of it. I have like maybe a tiny bit left for maybe one more fill, but not really. And I'm just so excited to finish my first bottle of ink. I hope to restock on that ink. Not that I need more ink, but I'm just so proud to have like an empty bottle for the first time. I've been collecting fountain pens since like 2016 and I probably don't actually have to buy any more ink because I have enough to probably last me a lifetime, but where's the fun in that? I'm just so excited to have finished my first bottle. And I actually don't tend to collect ink the same way I collect fountain pens. I try to use what I have already in my collection, but every now and then I get a new ink like this Mad Hatter. And this is actually my first time trying out a double broad in Kaveco, and I like it, but I think I might just get a custom grind for this one, just because I have still been preferring the stub nibs, or the, I guess he calls it a cursive italic or something like that. I'm already blanking on what Kirk uh, refers to that grind, but I, I think I will get that done instead. And I'm noticing on the screen, the two colors don't look too different, but they look different more in person. My camera is not capturing the differences. And as always, I want you to see all of the colors next to each other lined up. It looks so pretty. Oh my goodness, I love Quebeco so much. And I do want to mention ODE. He has a very impressive Quebeco collection, so you should check out his channel as well if you don't already follow him. That's all I really wanted to share with you today. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will catch you in the next one.